Well, good morning, YouTube. This is Steven Reardon with Smart Home Comfort. Um, we are working on a piece of equipment today. I'll flip this around and show you what we got. This is the patient. It's not in very good shape. It has not worked for heating in about three years. The inducer motor is seized up and um, you can see right there, we've got evidence of a refrigerant leak. A couple years ago, I had come out here and added some refrigerant in an attempt to get them a little life. And not long after, it uh, quit working. So homeowner has been without air conditioning or heat for quite some time now. And we're gonna get started on taking everything out and getting them a fresh package in it. When we uh, were here yesterday, I had not looked at the duct previously, and I don't know if it has changed since the first time I was here, but this is stuck. But what we found when we took a look is that the return is open to outside, and then if we go over here, Supply is also open to outside. Electrical is a bit of a nightmare. And the gas line is CSST run external out here to the gas piping assembly. So we are gonna take the disconnect and mount it to the wall here and then run the gas pipe in rigid through the foundation. Disconnect is currently back here because apparently there used to be a split system you can see the pad there um, and when they put in this package unit doesn't look like they put it on a pad and they just add it on to the electrical over here in the crawl space we dropped a temporary sump pump in there yesterday because we had a good bit of water down here that cinder block was pretty much covered and you can see somebody just decided to leave ductwork down here at some point in the past but it's nice to see that the pump did its job overnight um, so that maybe eventually we could get access back into the crawl space but we're gonna get ripping and tearing and see what we can do about getting the heat finally. So we've got a train 14 sear, three ton, 70,000 BTU heater. We built up the uh, pad because there was no base under the equipment previously. Trimmed it out with some pea gravel and got a four sided hood on the uh, ductwork. The plenums were in pretty bad shape as you guys saw earlier. So we went ahead and swapped plenums and uh, reconnected to the flex lines, but it's running. We don't have performance data on it yet, but we will be checking that tomorrow because we still have to deal with the sump pump in the crawl space, but turned out pretty good, I think. Pretty clean, 